This is your quads release. The quadriceps go all the way from the hip down to the knee. They cover quite a bit of real estate on the thigh, so we want to make sure that we're working the muscle left to right as well as up and down. First thing you want to do is take your foam roller and orient it horizontally on the floor in front of you, offset it to one side, and put yourself down into a plank position. It's important to keep the opposite leg out to your side to maintain a nice wide triangular base of support. This will help keep you relaxed as you focus on rolling that quad. You're going to be resting on the elbows and slowly rolling that thigh up and down. To bias different sections of the quadricep, all you have to do is tilt and rotate your legs slightly to attack more of the outer fibers. You can also tilt and turn the other way to hit more of the inner fibers. The idea is not to get stuck into one direction, rather to work the entire muscle. Once you've worked the muscle for about a minute, you can move on to your active release. For this, when you find a trigger point or a spot that feels a little bit tender, you can kick your heel towards your butt and you can do this for several repetitions. This is a flossing technique that will help release any knots that are present in that quadricep. Make sure to keep breathing throughout. Once you've completed that, you can go right into your kneeling quad stretch on the wall. For this, set yourself up in a split stance. The quad that you're stretching, shin will be up against the wall, knee tucked into the corner. Once you're in this position, you want to put your body in a nice upright position and hold and relax. A little addition here would be to actively squeeze your glutes. This will put the pelvis in a posterior tilt giving that quad a little bit of an extra stretch sensation. Remember, this is a graduated version, so we will show you a modified version of this if this is too difficult. The modified version is a little different. You're gonna be in a split stance, but you don't have to have that front leg stepping in front. You can just take a knee with it and you can lean your torso forward while holding onto a supporting object. This will be a little less intense, and then over time you can graduate to slowly getting your torso in a more upright position. And that is your quad release. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, but if you need more personalized coaching or guidance with your mobility, pain, stiffness, etc., then you gotta try our Stretch Health Plus free trial, where you'll get access to our entire library of pre-recorded mobility videos, as well as our interactive Zoom classes with a certified mobility instructor. If you wanna take your health and mobility to new levels, then click the link in the description below for your Stretch Health Plus free trial. We'll see you there.